Auzu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. I seek refuge with Allah Almighty from Satan, the rejected one. Bismillah, Rahmani rahim By the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Sallallahu ta'ala ala habibihi muhammadiyu wa alihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our segment on Surah Al-Araf. Inshallah, today we will cover the fifth ruku of Surah Al-Araf, verses 40 to 47. The last ruku ended with the conclusion that it is a great crime to invent something from yourself and blame it on Allah and to deny his signs. Such people are admitted into the fire along with those who do similar deeds. All of them are punished for misleading others in addition to their deeds. And this is their own doing. May Allah grant us the ability to understand the true meanings of the Quran by the grace of his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ameen. With this dua, let's begin the fifth ruku of Surah Al-Araf. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim verse 40. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِأَيَاتِنَا وَاسْتَقْبَرُوا أَنْ حَالَ دُفَتَّهُ لَهُمْ أَبْوَابُ السَّمَاءِ وَلَا يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةَ حَتَّى يَالِجَ الْجَمَالُ فِي سَمِلْ خِيَاتِ وَكَذَلِكَ نَجْزِ الْمُجْرِمِينَ Indeed, those who deny our signs and are arrogant toward them, the gates of the skies will not be opened for them, nor will they enter paradise until a camel passes in the eye of the needle. And thus do we recompense the criminals. Tofatahu means be opened. Yalija means passes. Sammil khiyati means eye of the needle. Those who deny the signs of Allah and are arrogant towards them, the gates of heaven will not be open for them, nor will they be able to enter paradise. Rejecting the signs of Allah means that they heard and understood the message well, but when it came time to act on it, they denied it based on their arrogance and did not fulfill its right. Similarly, the opening of the gates of heaven means that they do not realize how wrong they are and what will happen to them. It is as impossible for such people to go to heaven as it is for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Let's go on to verse 41. La hummin jahannama bihadun wa min fawqihim rawashin wa kathalika Najzi al-zalimin. They will have from hell a bed and over them coverings. And thus do we recompense the wrongdoers. Gawashin means coverings. The punishment of those who arrogantly deny the message of truth is hell. An example of hell in this worldly life is like a hospital where patients with very serious and life-threatening diseases are treated. These hospitals are usually built in a remote area, and the treatment for the patients is not pleasant. These are secured facilities, so no one can escape, like a mental health facility. Another purpose of isolation is to protect other people from the effects of these infectious diseases. The overall behavior of the people found in hell is described in Surah Al-Araf, verse 179, where it says, And we have certainly created for hell many of the jinn and mankind. They have hearts with which they do not understand. They have eyes with which they do not see. And they have ears with which they do not hear. Those are like livestock. Rather, they are more astray. It is they who are the heedless. May Allah protect us all from this behavior. Amin. Let's go on to verse 42. 
وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَآمِلُوا أَصَالِحَاتِ لَا نُقَلِّفُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا وُسْعَهَا أُولَائِكَ أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ But those who believed and did righteous deeds, we charge no one except its capacity. Those are the companions of paradise. They will abide therein eternally. Unlike such people, those who believe and continue to do righteous deeds, those people become deserving of paradise. Their life is full of peace and tranquility in this world and in the next stages of life as well. Only the Creator has a true understanding of the capabilities and power of things. Our Creator and Owner is Allah. He asks nothing of us, which we cannot do. Those who use their abilities and resources in accordance with the orders of Allah and His beloved Prophet وسلم, they become successful. Let's go on to verse 43. Wa مَا فِي سُدُورِهِمْ مِنْ غِلِّ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهِمْ الْأَنْهَارِ وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي هَذَنَا لِهَذَا وَمَا كُنَّا لِنَحْتَدِي يَا لَوْلَا أَلْهَذَانَ اللَّهُ لَكَدْ جَأَتْ رُسُولُ رَبِّنَا بِالْحَقِّ وَنُودُ أَن تِلْكُمُ الْجَنَّةُ أُرِسْتُمُوهَا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ And we will remove whatever is within their chest of malice. Flowing beneath them are rivers. And they will say, Praise to Allah who has guided us to this. And we would never have been guided if Allah had not guided us. Certainly, the messengers of our Lord had come with the truth, and they will be called. This is paradise, which you have been made to inherit for what you used to do. What the zana means, and we will remove. Rillin means malice, intention to do evil. Wanudu means they will be called or addressed. According to the divine law, beings of similar types are grouped together. Like the saying goes, birds of a feather flock together. If there was any enmity in the hearts of the people of paradise, then Allah the Exalted, he removes it with perfect kindness, and thus they all enjoy life together. Success is only possible if we have the guidance of Allah, and the source of this guidance were the messengers whom Allah sent to guide the people. People received the message, did what was asked of them, and thus they have been made the heirs of paradise, which Allah promised through his messengers. Verses uh, 70 to 73 of Surah Az-Zukhruf describes the paradise, where it says, Enter paradise, you and your spouses delighted. Circulated among them will be plates and vessels of gold, and therein is whatever the ones desire and delights the eyes, and you will abide therein. And that is paradise, which you are made to inherit for what you used to do. For you therein is much fruit from which you will eat. Let's go on to verse 44. Wanada. Ashabul Jannati, Ashabul Nari, Anqad Wajadna Ma, Wa Adana, Rabbuna, Hakkan, Fahal Wajadtum, Ma, Wa Ada, Rabbukum, Hakkan. Kalu, Naam, Faadana, Muadanun, Bainahum, Allah, Natul, Lahi, Allah, Adalameen. And the companions of paradise will call out to the companions of the fire. We have already found what our Lord promised us to be true. Have you found what your Lord promised to be true? They will say, yes, 
Then an announcer will announce among them, The curse of Allah shall be upon the wrongdoers. Muwaddinun means an announcer or to announce. Let's go on to verse 45. Alladina yasuduna an sabilillahi wa yabawunaha iwajan wa hum bil akhirati kafirun. Who averted from the way of Allah and sought to make it crooked while they were concerning the hereafter disbelievers. Iwajan means crooked or twisted out of shape or place. This world is a cycle of life and death. The world we go to after death is commonly called the Araf, or the heights or elevations. Generally, we think the body of flesh and bones is us as the human being, although this body is nothing but a garment. The real us is our ruh, our soul. And when the soul severs its connection with the body after death, this garment of our body has no value. It deteriorates and composts back in the earth. The soul changes its garment in every realm. And this garment is according to the environment. Just like we wear warm clothes in the winter and light clothes in the summer. Similarly, the soul wears its clothes or garment based on the environment. So in the life after death, it puts on new clothes based on where it is. Since our soul has a complete database of all the attributes and abilities, when it goes into a new realm and puts on a new garment, it has the ability to recognize people based on what has been recorded in the database. And it also feels the comforts and the displeasures. Let's go on to verse 46. وَبَيْنَاهُمَا حِجَابٌ وَأَلَى الْأَعْرَافِ رِجَالٌ يَعْرِفُونَ كُلَّ بِسِيمَاهُمْ وَنَادَوْ أَصْحَابَ الْجَنَّةِ أَنْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ لَمْ يَدْخُلُوهَا وَهُمْ يَتْمَعُونَ And between them will be a partition. And on Araf, the heights, or are men who recognize all by their marks. And they call out to the companions of paradise, Peace be upon you. They have not entered it, but they aspire. Hijabun means partition. Al-Arafi means those who recognize by means of attributes or signs. Yarifuna means the distinguishing marks or insignia or trademark. Bisi mahum means they aspire. There is a partition or a wall between these two classes. And some people who are on the heights or elevations recognize the people of paradise by their mark. And they call out to the companions of paradise, peace be upon you. These people are not there yet, but they want to. Example of this in this world would be, for example, we have some knowledge or insights about the people who live in high places, such as celebrities or famous people, or even CEOs. We see their life and we would like to have that life. So we say hello to them to make a connection or initiate an interaction so they can perhaps pull us in or teach us how they got there. Let's go on to verse 47. Wa'idha surifat Absaruhum ilqa'a ashabi anari kalu Rabbana la taj'alna ma'a alqawmi azalameen. And when they turn, their eyes meet the companions of the fire. They say, Our Lord, do not place us with the wrongdoing people. Surifat means turn. Tilqa'a means meet. And when people at high places look at the situations of the less fortunate ones, then they pray to their Lord not to place them with the wrongdoers. 
This is a reminder for us to always be thankful to our Lord, because comparatively, we are in an easy place. And there are many who don't have what we have, and they wish that they had our life. This concludes our segment on Ruku 5 of Surah Al-Araf. Let's briefly go over what we discussed. Those who, despite understanding the message of truth, reject it arrogantly instead of acting on it, their evil deeds never come to an end, and they continue to do evil. Their entry into paradise is as impossible as a camel passing through the eye of a needle. While those who accept the message of truth and adjust their lives according to the teachings of their messengers, they are made inheritors of heaven due to their needs, due to their deeds, and they get all kinds of comfort and blessings over there. The body is merely a garment. The real thing is the room, our soul. When the room breaks its connection with the body, it sheds that garment and adopts a new one according to the environment of the next place. This new garment contains all the attributes and characteristics that were recorded in this world. May Allah grant us the ability to understand the Holy Quran and its true meanings in light of the life and guidance of Prophet Muhammad Amin. Thank you for joining us for this segment. Until next time. Sadaqullahu al Allah speaks the truth, the exalted, the great. Sallallahu ta'ala ala habibihi, Muhammadiyum wa alihi wa sallam.